my grandfather had a camera that, uh, like a little Sony Handycam. Oftentimes I would take that and, you know, film local bands and uh, get close enough to the stage where I felt like, um, you know, I was part of the band and I started touring with bands and it was almost like the camera was my instrument. So that's how I connected to music and I kind of fell in love with music videos, uh, you know, in my mid-teens. I love music videos because it's the only medium where you could write it, film it, and release it within, you know, two to three weeks. And that's what I love about it. It's just the quickest hit. I think music videos are important because it's an extension of the song. Um, it's an extension of the artist. It's, you know, putting a face to a name. Today I met with Aza, Finton, Sam Lynch and Chopay, and we chopped it up on all things music video. Directorial. Like I love stuff like this. I love yeah. the attitude come through, you know what I mean? Yeah, and I'm wearing the same yeah. jacket, because <laughs> my jacket, my favorite jacket. For being relatively new artists, I was really impressed with how confident they were. I wanted to talk a lot about performance and confidence, and I was, yeah, I was just blown away that all of the artists were just super confident with who they are and what their brand is, and it totally shows in the music videos they already have. So my advice to them was just, just to be more prolific. Once you get in the habit of releasing content more often, yeah, yeah. you stop becoming as much of a perfectionist, and mm. you're just, you just want to get stuff out in the world. You gotcha. know what I mean? Like, and that just helps keep you on everyone's radar. Gotcha. And then pushing, like pushing those consistently. Push it. Don't sink all your effort into one music video that's gonna take you, you know, six or eight months and then do another one. You know, create every month if you can, create every week if you can. If you fall in love with the process and not care as much about the end result, I just think you're gonna produce amazing things. What makes you the most excited when you're, when you're, starting a project. I just like working with the artist to yeah. come up with a with a treatment. Like I, I kind of check my ego at the door. It doesn't have to be like my way or the highway. Mm -hmm. I'm open to everyone's idea because we're all, when you're on a film set, it's long days. And I just want to make sure, you know, everyone's enjoying themselves, right? Mm -hmm. and feeling that, like they're invested in it. Was that how this one felt? Like small crew? Totally. Yeah, yeah it was awesome. Out. Yeah. I think it's important to say no uh, when you need to and just have faith that um, you know the right job is right around the corner. And in the decade plus that I've been doing this, that's, that's always been the case. I would just love to feel like everything visually that I'm doing is I can really stand behind it alongside the music I'm making. Mm -hmm. and I'm definitely not to that point yet. Not to say that I don't like the videos I've made, but I just want to feel so much more in control of my own voice with this stuff. That's my job is to you know, capture your essence right. of the song in the video, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. know who you are and, and mm -hmm. really, uh, like I said, lean into it. Mm -hmm. Music videos are important because music is identity, right? So it's people looking for community and that usually comes with, that, that permeates every part of the culture, right? What you wear, how you, you know, how you cut your hair. And I feel like that all stems from music videos being, you know, uh, an artist's expression into the world, right? So it goes beyond just Sonic, it's, it's culture.